After clocking over 500 miles on my Highboy P6 commuting to work, I've really gotten to know this bike inside out. First off, I'd buy it again without a second thought. It was my initiation into the e-bike world, and I'm relieved I didn't cave to the bike shop's pressure to splurge on a $3,000 model loaded with bells and whistles. The Highboy outpaces it in speed, looks sleeker, and whole lot cheaper. It handles beautifully, and I've hit speeds over 30 miles per hour on downhill stretches, thanks in part to those fat tires which ensure a smooth ride. My only gripe? The half-twist throttle takes some getting used to. I was getting off one day while it was still on, and I twisted the throttle by accident and shot off like a rocket with me along with it. Invest in hydraulic brakes or high-quality pads, the factory ones aren't up to snuff, and rearview mirrors are a must. This bike is heavy at 65 pounds, so you might want to think about that if you live upstairs. If you run out the battery, it's going to be tough cranking those pedals. I would never take this bike on serious MTB trails. This bike is for streets and gravel paths. Weighing in at around 200 pounds, I'm pleased with its performance, though acceleration from a standstill leaves something to be desired. Lighter riders might notice a difference. Motor and battery-wise, no complaints. My biggest issues with this bike is it pulls up 08 error codes almost daily. I'm not sure why, it could be a short in the wiring, or the controller is bad. It gets annoying. It's also a noisy bike. Not terribly so, but there is some noticeable noise if you are new to a bikes, or just don't want to spend that much, this bike is the way to go. You can always upgrade what you want.